Hey, a lot of you all have been asking about um, the Chama River, which is what I'm in right now. It is, it is down. This is the winter flow or fall flow, so there's no rafters on the weekends now. And it flows north to south. That is south that way. Monastery, as you can see from the church, right over there. But this is the Gaina. The Gaina is a tributary that feeds into the uh, Chama River. And I've got a little thing I want to show you, but we got to get there first. So if you've been following me on Facebook or Instagram, you've probably seen this spot already. So a couple of months ago, actually right before I took the Washington trip, uh, we set up this camera. It's mainly to monitor the Gaina River, which is here. And uh, I really haven't talked about it until now because it's working. It is battery powered. And let me show you the whole system here. But first, the camera. There it is there. And we've buried this much of the wire up to the boxes. Those boxes have to get raised up and get it winterized. And this is the dish communicating back with the monastery. You probably can't see uh, the tower that's out there somewhere that catches the network. Now this, again, it's got to get raised up. Let me show you inside the box here. This has been running for, what, four months now, I think? Okay. So I've pretty much waterproofed the box except for underneath. I don't like how I did that, but there's not much I can do about it right now. But there it is. It has a temperature sensor inside that turns on the fans that keep it cool. There's the um, inverter. I could have put a smaller inverter in. I have a switch, which I don't need, but it is in here. And that's the charge controller. Right now it's not receiving much of a charge due to the sun not being out. But it's got a pretty much full battery on it. So it should last three days on a charge. And like I said, we've got to raise this thing up, but I need more wire to raise it up because we, I kind of cut it short and that needs to get moved. Need to move that further out towards the river for it to do what it needs to do. And I'll talk more about that in another video. And this is the battery here. But there you go. And then the solar panels, again, it's got to get raised up. They're right over there. Uh, the main reason I came out today is that we have a problem with spider webs on the lens. And I've read a couple of articles that said uh, what to do about that. And one of them that I really like and I think will work is, well, first you gotta clean the lens off, which is what we'll do here. Um, don't really have a tripod, but uh, yeah, we'll clean the lens off. And then uh, you put Vaseline around the outside of this and some on the inside. And then that way you'll keep um, the spider webs off. But we'll find out tonight when I do it. All right, I've added Vaseline on there. Not sure how much to put. I put quite a bit. I would assume that the spiders are walking up to this. There's no way for them to fly onto it, meaning swing from a tree and then hit it. So they have to be walking up this pole and coming out. That's it for now. Uh, check out some of the videos of what I've been uh, capturing here on the, uh, the camera.